I can't begin to tell you how proud I am of my parents and what they accomplished in their lifetime and the sacrifices they made that's made it all possible for us today. After managing the business for the co-op for 24 years, they released him in the third year of a five-year contract. And of course, both mother and dad were devastated. And they could have retired at that time because dad was 58 and mom was 61. But she turned to him, supporting him as she had always done, and she said, Edwin, you will never be happy again unless you prove yourself again. And so they started all over in the shadow of something that he had worked for all those years, starting with just the milk from our dairy and dad's dairy, and brought that milk in here to make cheese. And at that time, he had said it was just going to be a small specialty cheese plant. He was just, of course, going to make Swiss cheese because that was our heritage and maybe a few other specialty items and never try to get very large. When we first started, Gosner's dad was down on the floor making the cheese himself and, of course, making Swiss cheese. Within three or four days, he hired Dale Humphreys, and Dale Humphreys is still our head cheese maker after all these years. And then Mom uh, helped up in the office, and my brother was running the office and doing those type of things. And uh, as it progressed, why then we started to package cheese, and, and I had the great pleasure of working downstairs with Dad in the packaging room side by side, and it was one of the best experiences I can ever remember is being right there side by side, working with him shoulder to shoulder. You would see Dad down here seven days a week. If nothing else, he was down here with a, a broom and a hose, spraying things down and cleaning it. And then we had a, a counter, a sales counter downstairs, and we had a cowbell, a Swiss cowbell, and they'd ring that bell, and Mom would run down the stairs and wait on somebody, and then go back up to the office and do some work up there. and. When things were tough, they'd eat a little salami and Swiss cheese and some crackers for dinner. And that went on that way for many years. You know, the employees, I think, loved my parents because they were part of them. They worked side by side with them, knew them personally, knew their families. My mother was a very outgoing person that, that loved people. And she was very involved with anybody that she knew. And of course, Dad had that beautiful accent, that brogue of his that uh, he was so fun to listen to. and. Always got so excited about anything he did. His greatest thing was to slap his hand on his knee and, and laugh about something, you know. And he got so enthusiastic that you had to be enthusiastic if you were around him because they loved it and they lived it every day. In 1984, I became president and CEO of Gosner's and it has been a real pleasure to work with the people that I've worked with. There's been a lot of hard times, a lot of hard work, but what a joy to work with the people I've had the opportunity to work with to have the dedicated people that really truly believe in Gosner's and believe in the name and take pride in the products they put out. And not just the employees, but the farmers. I mean, they rely on us to pay them a good price and do a good job for them and put out good products. And everybody understands that. The farmers know they have to produce good milk. The employees know they have to put out good products to make it work. And in between those two, we have the milk haulers that are all independent milk haulers that every day the sun comes up, they have to get that milk into this plant. There would not be a Gosner's without the people. Bricks and mortar and all the expensive equipment doesn't matter a bit without the people that care.